Now we're going to evaluate some composite functions. So suppose we have the two functions, f of x equals minus 5x, and g of x equals x squared plus 1. And we're going to do two things. First, we're going to do f composed with g of 2, and then we're going to do g composed with f of 2, just to show you the difference that the order makes in what we're doing. So f composed with g of 2 is the same thing of f of g of 2, which is f of, well, g of 2 is 2 squared plus 1, so 4 plus 1, which is 5. So I'm going to do f of 5. Notice I just took that output and plugged it in right there. Well, f of 5 is equal to minus 5 times 5, which is minus 25. So the final answer to this composition is negative 25. But if I do, if I change my order, then this is really g of f of 2. So we're going to start with f of 2 minus 5 times 2 is minus 10. So now we take g of that same minus 10 we just found, and that's going to equal minus 10 squared plus 1. Minus 10 squared is 100. 100 plus 1 is 101. And so for my final answer is 101. Notice how very dissimilar these two things are. It's very important to recognize the order and to use it in the right order. But that's how we evaluate composite functions. Start with the one closest to the outermost parentheses with our variable or our number and work to the left.